Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It is Saturday. We're hanging out with UEC. And we are at Garland Stand. So let's take a look at the players today. On the CSA, we've got 8th Alabama and 8th Florida together. You know what that means. Anderson's division on the Confederate side uh, in mass. We've also got the 20th Georgia over there as well as the, uh, looks like, 20th Georgia, 14th Louisiana, 7th South Carolina, small group, ever growing, always looking for recruits. So if you guys are interested, uh, contact one of these fine companies. You can get in. 18th North Carolina, you can see also the 56th Virginia. That's Slaughter's Boys uh, and the Tar Heels as well. And the 1st Virginia over there. Looking good, and that means Tim's on the big gun, so you better beware of that if you're wearing Yankee blue. And if you are, you are probably playing, oh, 52nd New York and 2nd Delaware. That's the 3rd Brigade. So we got a 3rd Brigade going head-to-head -head with our uh, Anderson's division on the Confederate side. Uh, JDL in there as well. 2nd Cav, Captain Eddie and the boys over there, 4th New Jersey. And the Irish, 3rd Alabama, Do you want me to? hear that, and you hear the, you can already hear the voice in the background, 1st Virginia, Cav is here, and that's the preacher right there, major preacher, <laughs> uh, Dumb Noah also with the NSK on the Union side, and it looks like 52nd New York's going to carry the big gun, J.J. Carter, uh, Sergeant Brickle, Fleischer, and uh, Hendricks on the big guns so this is going to be really fun oh and you saw general sherman there there he is private sherman that's uh that's our boy ulti i believe so this should be fun and the clock has started the boys are moving let's go in with the yankee attack and this is the fifth u.s cav didn't even see him on the list sorry about that guys captain johnson's guys here uh, once again, man, I've been away for a couple weeks. What a beautiful game this is. No. Waffles, waffles, double quick. Get right to the ship. I am double quick. Preacher carrying the flag. Yeah, why are you passing? You know, you know, like and he's up front. Yes. Who am I passing? I'm not supposed to be passing. I'm sorry. Last I, check, I, I, no, no, one grabbed, no, no one grabbed the flag, so I grabbed it. So when I die, I'll just switch to officer. Okay. So I'm going to be like, I'm going to Mel Gibson this shit until we get there. My water for my team. Okay. Alright, Cavaliers, bypass. He's going to quote Mel Gibson that shit <laughs> until he dies. God, please don't be a fucking invisible wall, thank God. Oh, okay, alright. Right. Left into line. Left into line. Uh, Colonel Hawk. Colonel Hawk. At the street, at the street, we're gonna halt. These Yankees are pushing hard, trying to find the guns, trying to find the Confederate flank. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Preacher, shit in his pants, and we've already got the Union engaged. Wow, that was fast. Got some weird glitches going on with the uh, musket fire there. Confederates pushing hard on defense, trying to hold this position from the Union. That's the third Alabama on Preacher's flank. Captain Williamson. The Russian fans are fine fighters. And you can see the Confederate position is aggressive. Let's take a look. Alright, that's 7th, South Carolina with elements of the 14th, Louisiana. I'm weak. I'm here. And we've got Union movement down on the bottom here. Union broken out into small squads. This is the 5th, U.S. Cav. Let's we'll see who's in command today. First Lieutenant How Parker, possibly. To... I don't see Captain Johnson. It's buggy, so... Ooh. Right the right they are taking fire, and that should be the 14th Louisiana down here. They're headed that way earlier. 18th North Carolina. Brommer. First Sergeant Brommer looks to be in command. 
18th North Carolina coming out with some heat. Look at that. That's a bunch of people. Way to go, Tar Heels, man. Glad to see the numbers. Yeah, that uh, that visual glitch kind of takes you out of it a bit, but uh, <clears throat> they'll get it under control. The developers do such a great job of this. Here comes Slaughter and running down, trying to get some information, possibly. Or is he bringing his regiment with him? There's company. Here they come. 56th. Going down the hill. Going to give some support to the 14th, Louisiana. I'm sorry, the, uh, the Tar Heels, the 18th, North Carolina. And in the middle on the point of contention, that is your 20th. Oh, Jumbo is here. Weston waving that flag. I love that new dynamic. And Jumbo in the 20th, a fine I unit to hold the point of contention. These guys are good. Got to be disciplined to do that. Here we go, Confederate guns. Oh, and I'll bet this is uh, Anderson's over here. Absolutely it is. 8th Florida and 8th Alabama working together. That's Anderson's division. Let's see how they do here today. Tiberius. In command. Out of the open field. To the left. Links. I don't see Hog. The front Might be killed. The oh, there he is. Mario Hog. I think that's uh, Mr. Hog. Hold your fire, boys. Hold your fire. He's fire. Charge Middle. by net. Yes. Charge by net. Yeah, you gotta know when you're playing with the 8th Alabama, you're gonna have your bayonet on. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in it myself. You can see the Yankee flags getting closer. Oh, there's Hog. I hear him. Giving a little bit of uh, intel. Here's your first Virginia. And Hog giving commands to the 8th Florida and the 8th Alabama alike. He is in command, it looks to be, of Anderson's division. And here they go. Boy, it's a beautiful sight. That's a lot of Confederates. And we've got some action hot and heavy right here on the fence line. Hog taking him right to the hottest spot in the field. Just as he always does. And these Yankees, they're getting out of here. Third Alabama, a heads-up play. And they are getting a new position. And now it's time for Florida to be exposed, along with the Alabama. Anderson's division now using that snake fence as great cover. But a heads-up play by the third Alabama not to be destroyed there by a larger force. And Anderson's division has done their job and they're marching out of there. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well done. All right, we got guys running. It's never a great look, so Florida's going to have to come over here with the Alabama do something about that. You can hear the heavy rate of fire. Anderson's division in the open field. And we've got the Irish. Oh, we got 4th Jersey in here, 3rd Alabama. Some JDL mixed in. Half the Union Army coming through. Yeah. Second calf. That's first. First Lieutenant Sluggy. All right, we got Union movement across the field here. It's the third Alabama. You know they like to get close with the bayonet as well. Yep. 
Look, same. I'm left. I'm left. Reunion in the rocks, taking fire, but doing a good job, giving it back as well. I say, have they, have the uh, Anderson boys improved their position? They have, they're out from the open, and they have some rocks of their own. See Jeb Stewart, if he's staying in formation, then he's doing a great job hiding behind that tree. Tiberius there. And these Confederates. <clears throat> You're doing great, Oof. Why are you getting close with the camera for that personal action? Anderson's division fighting for their lives in the rocks. All right. So we can see the Union coming across in a pretty solid front. Well organized attack here, third Alabama. Taking a lot of heat from Anderson's division. Look at the bodies. Wow. So they're dug in. Oh, you hear cannonballs. That might be part of the problem. Old Tim, Tim and the boys. But you can see the first uh, New York heavy artillery pumping it up the field. Here they come. They're coming in close to the Confederates. <laughs> and the third brigade trying to rally up back here. <laughs> Everybody trying to get back to the front. The third Alabama is holding most of it right now. Come over here. We got the Irish. It's hot and heavy over here as well. Fourth New Jersey. Hey, Franklin Roosevelt. I like it. Right. Captain Zap. So the Union having their, their hands are full of the Confederates on this side of the field. But you can see a lot of red, white, and blue coming this way. They're on the flank and it is forcing Hogg and the boys to back off just a bit. And it's our Dutch friends. Hey, Elon's here. No, no, no. Oh, dumb Noah. Alright, they see him coming. First Virginia coming in with the bayonet. Is that a Rambo or is that an attack? He's dead. You see him coming. First Virginia. Okay, now the Confederates are engaged. That took a while. You see First Virginia falling back. Third Alabama coming in with the bayonet. But here comes the counterattack by Anderson's division, and Third Alabama might not have been ready for that. It's a bloodbath. There's Hogg.
And the Confederates easily sweeping over the third Alabama. Fifth U.S. Cavs here as well. Oh, is that the second Delaware? It is. Here comes another attack by the third brigade. So now the Union counterattacking. Just an absolute bloodbath in the woods. Jumbo's here with the 20th as well. It's the whole army. Well, about half of it. And the Union trying to win the day here. Oh, man. One more. Oh. So technically, the uh, Confederates still hold the position. <laughs> but man, what a slaughter. All right, the Confederates pushing in to the Yankee rear here. Say that 10 times fast. Slaughter's here, 56, Virginia. And they're into the open field, backing up on the fence. More Confederates flooding back this way. It's like a successful attack is what it was. 14th Louisiana coming up to help Anderson's division. Enemy already actually. On the other side of the field. So you can see the Confederates really still lined up. Not a whole lot of uh, threat to the point of contention, only decay. And 18th North Carolina decides they want to be part of the fun. And here they come up to the hottest spot of the field. They're looking at the uh, Union flank right there. Let's see how they can react to it. And you can see the shots coming in. Oof. behind us. Oh, here the Irish there. We're going to head southeast. Right. Uh, right. Right. Second U.S. And they know they're flanked. They're going to get out of here. One of the fart squirrels here. Already the Union taking losses, so the Union have been on their heels since the very start of this battle. And look at these Confederates, here come the Union. Third Alabama with the bayonet, no surprise. Oh. And Alabama able to take the position. Slaughter and the boys getting slaughtered and having to retreat the last few that they had. The U.S. is here with the first calf. Captain Crunch. It's a great name. These are the comedians of the U.S. Uh, the U.S. in there. Preacher gets awful excited. He sang form a battle line on my left, but it sounds like <laughs> Oh man, they got a large Confederate force in front of them. Here they come, here they come. Do they see Preacher's boys here? It looks like they do. They're lined up a shot. Here we go. Oh, and the Cav taking a huge blast. Preacher hear him. It's okay. 18th North Carolina just take a huge chunk out of the Cav. And they're in force. What do you mean, 
If they wanted that position, they could take it. You can see the Confederates still holding on, on the extreme right. Still getting it done. No Union penetration on this side. 20th Georgia. I'm up on top of something right now. At the ready. East, north, east. There's a flag. Take aim. East, north, east. Down the hill. Bill, gotta go to the left side of the line, Bubba. Fire! Reload. Load. Don't worry, I'll die before you do. Potato, I'm up on top of something. My head's over you. Yeah, this is a bad I've learned video. anything from watching Jackal play this game. Forward. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. gonna die. There's, There's a wrong. cannon up there. I don't want to get it. Kyle, get it. What? Those oh. get it. Uh, Rambo to the right. You got some Rambo uh, to the right. Oh, yeah. Right Company right like, step like... to me, Bunch. Alright, you can see the Union pouring in up here. Here they come. The third Alabama again. If there's a pointy tip of the spear, it's gonna be the third Alabama on the Union line. And here they come one more time. They are deadly with the bayonet. And the Confederates running from the position. You can see the flagman trying to get away. Still being chased. Oh, and the Union Confederates starting to uh, get more even here. Corporal Muscovit just will not give up on this guy. All right, he finally got the idea. Jeb Stewart got away with his skin. All right, First Virginia on the move as well, going downtown. You can hear the, by the rate of fire, there's a lot of action on this field. And the Union have been able to take this corner down here, didn't see this. It's the 3rd Brigade, no surprise. They're on the road, they're on the flank of the Confederates. This is deadly for the Confederates here. Oh, and they got Confederates behind them. It's the 56th Virginia. That's why that position is so deadly. But the 52nd, wasting no time, just turned around and countercharged them. But I don't know if they have enough men. A lot of Virginia here on the flank in the 56th. John Bell Hood on the field. All right, well done by the Confederates, able to get around and hit the third brigade. 18 minutes left in the match. It's a close one, but the Confederates so far with the lead. And you can see the Union making another push. Is it the 3rd Alabama this time? 3rd Alabama! Oh, but here comes the counterattack. And it's Jumbo in the 20th Georgia. And 3rd Alabama, just nothing left. As Jumbo's men easily rip through. Falling back here, 4th New Jersey. Still out in the field. Dangerous position, they're getting out of there too. And these Union of the, tw uh, the second U.S. Cav, they've got their back to this action because there are still Confederates down on the rocks shooting into their backs. So a precarious position as the second U.S. Cav uses the fence to cover their back, being shot from both their front and their rear, and now even from their right flank, and finally they are deciding to leave the area. The seventh South Carolina finally running those boys off along with the Tim's deadly artillery yeah, yeah. Right you see how these units continuously move 
beautiful thing to watch. It's the 8th Alabama, 8th Florida team. This is Anderson's division, and they're pushing the 5th away, all the way to the edge. They're going to have to fall back. So a great push by Anderson's division. And the Union having a really, really hard time penetrating the Confederate right. These Confederates are aggressive. Look at this play across the field. First Virginia. They've got one IVB here, but he's not going to live long. All right, but the Union's going to hit this spot too pretty soon. We already have some Union activity. It's the IVB, second US. That's Sluggy right there. Doing it up with the bayonet. Oh, getting gunned down. These Irish aren't done yet. Oh, the fart squirrel's here. Oh, getting stabbed in the back. Corporal Domond. And the fourth jersey. Captain Zap using the rocks, trying to find a position for his men to get the best cover. Against what's left of the First Virginia, and they're pulling back. And more Union activity down on the bottom of the map. It is Third Brigade. <laughs> See how calm and relaxed the guys are in, in combat. Does not phase them in the least. There's Toby, Captain Stricker, Captain Walsh, Captain Frank. Yeah, beim Stein steht einer links. That's the Emperor and his apprentice. And these are veteran players, man. <laughs> so these shots, these shots matter. That's good cover for the Confederates across the field as well. So the 3rd Brigade here trying to find... Trying to find an advantage before running out into that open field. Seven South Carolina along with the 14th Louisiana there. And your Tar Heels. Standing up. Fire! Yeah, going down like this, getting cover. This is going to be hard to uh, kill a lot of Confederates in that position. 13 minutes left in the match. Mm, Slaughter's boys taking a lot of hits here. Ooh, you can see the artillery hitting its mark from across the map. Third Alabama just couldn't get out of the way of it. But you can see those fences do a lot to uh, actually cover. Oh man, look at that. And the third Alabama's had enough. That's why they keep charging. They just keep getting blasted by that artillery. Oh my god, but the artillery was a prelude to Anderson's division attack. Here they come. You can hear the rebel yell. The Union is breaking. Tiberius doing it with the pistol. Chase down. Tiberius running for it. Back to the guns and getting protection. The old fashioned way. And hey, there's Fritz. Oh, Elon goes down. John Bell Hood taking some friendly fire. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And the Confederates doing it. Man. So, disaster for the Union as they go to breaking. This is close to defeat. 
with 11 minutes to go, they go into that uh, final push. It'll be the death knell. So the Confederates with early aggressive play have really done a great job keeping this uh, Union attack at arm's length and kind of controlling where it goes, you might say. First Virginia in the rocks. And it was a fine looking Union attack. I mean, it was all spread out across the map. Uh, you might argue that hurt them once they got in the woods. The Confederates could kind of pick them apart piecemeal, one little unit at a time. <laughs> Man, these guys have worked so hard to get this gun this far. Hopefully it pays off for them. They've got plenty of Confederates in front of that's for sure. Union over here as well, in the rocks. But here come the Confederates, 20th Georgia. JDL, 4th Rhode Island. These are just precise attacks, man. I love it. All right, so we're within 10 minutes, the last 10 minutes of the round. The Union doesn't look like they have a plan for attack here. The Irish, along with the second, weighing their options. How do they want to cross this field to get to that point of contention? I should say. And the Confederates out here in the Rock used to be First Virginia, it still is. And they've kind of pushed the Union away a bit. Third Brigade down here. No, it's now it's the U.S. Cap, 5th U.S. Oh, we're talking right on the edge of the map, boys. Better, it's close. Right, Lawrence. Especially how it started. I can't feel my leg. <laughs> Why can't I feel it? I don't see the flag. So, like I said, the Union doesn't seem to be in a big hurry to attack this position. Although we do have some Union over here on the far left. That is your artillery, but the uh, Anderson's division... Not really going to let much of that happen. J.J. Carter pulling out a big knife. Kind of chasing them away. That's hilarious. Like, you don't want to come at me. I got this big-ass knife, boy. I will stab every one of you. <laughs> oh, shit. But, a lot of Confederate action coming this way, I'm sure, in a hurry. They got their bayonets on. All right, they must have felt some pressure because they've fallen back to the rocks. And they've broken up into two little squads here, it looks like, hiding behind the rocks. Uh, the left side of the Alabama here, uh, go, uh, fall, fall back even more. And you hear him, Fritch wants... He wants him to fall back to a solid line. Exposing himself to enemy fire. Good job, good job. 
All right, the Union trying to make a push here, it looks like. No, he's dead. Is that a Rambo? There we go, in the corner. Second Cav and the Irish, they've come down the fence line. Well done, this is a good position. They've got six minutes left in the match. And the Confederates are not going to like this. You can see they're coming, trying to take this back from the Union. Oh, speaking of taking it back, it's Anderson's division right over our shoulder. Here they come. And good night, Irish, as they just marched steady right through the blue bellies and killed every damn one of them. Well, we got a couple left here. Elon, nope. He's the last one. And you see now the Confederates are also breaking now with five minutes left. The Union can put their full might to the point of contention. And you can see down on the bottom of the map, the Union is charging into the fence. And that's the 4th U.S. We got the 3rd Brigade. Polly West. And they're building something here with five minutes left. They've got the Confederates where they want them. They've got them breaking. And the JDL. More of those boys than I thought I'd seen, but they're all grouped together now. And they're close to the point. Now's the time to take it if there were any. Not sure what the Union is waiting on here. Giving the Confederates all day to get back in the position. You see, they're already here. Uh-oh, what happened? We've gone dark. Four minutes left, and it turned to midnight. This gives the advantage to the attacker. If I'm the Union, I come to the point right now. And here they are. Third Alabama. A master stroke when the Lord turned out the lights. The Union charged in to the point of contention, and here they come from both sides. We've got the first Cav on the scene. A great attack by the Union, but here come the 20th Georgia. Slaughter and the boys are here as well. And here comes Anderson's division. Tiberius in the van. And they will rip into the Union line as they come pouring up the lane. Final push. Here we go. It's all or nothing. It comes down to this. And the Confederates have done it. The Union slaughtered as they ran into the meat grinder. That was the point of contention. You can see the bodies tell the tale. Tell the tale. <laughs> the bodies tell the tale. And the Confederates pouring in. Man, that was a brutal attack, counterattack, counterattack. Woo! Two minutes left, and it looks like a final push for the Union means a Confederate victory is close at hand. But damn, what a battle. They get this every week, folks. Every week they do this. If you uh, want to join one of these fine companies, they are always recruiting. Just reach out to one of these fine ca captains or commanders that you see here. Oh, here come the Union right after the guns. Fourth New Jersey, Captain Zap. He wants you dead and you die. Here you go. Oh, there goes Ulti. Running for his life. Fart squirrels after him. Hey, 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 no, please. You missed. Can I surrender? Can I that's okay. not fucking surrender. Can That's I surrender? I didn't, I didn't even touch you. Surrender. <laughs> still see you. Fart squirrel giving up his pursuit as uh, Ulti gets away. 
He's a little salty about not being allowed to surrender. All right, here we come. Union attacking the point of contention. Third Alabama pouring in to Anderson's division and the 20th Georgia. The Union not going to have many more chances here. And they know victory is slipping away. One minute left in the match. And we'll stay right here with the Confederates defending this point of contention. <laughs> Seven South Carolina smashing into the flank, killing the Union on the lane. Second calf. And the Union knows now victory has slipped away. The bell has told. And the Confederates are going to walk away with this one. 18 seconds left in the match. Here comes one last desperate attack. Can they do it? Can they force an overtime? Third Brigade, 5th U.S. Cav. It's the whole Union Army. It's not going to let it do it. It's a Confederate victory. Congratulations uh, to everybody on the Confederate Army that for a fine victory. A uh, well-fought, man. The Union, just really aggressive there. I like that uh, kind of play.